Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and I'm back for another week of blocks of the 2023 Scrappy Sampler. This week we're going to be working on blocks 23, 24, and 25, but we're going to be working today on block 23. So let's get started. Last week we started off with a pickle dish, that was our first block of the week, and that was a pretty difficult block. But this week we're starting off with an easier block. We're making, uh, it's like a pinwheel style block, and this is what, let me show you what the unit looks like. So the block is composed of four identical units that look like this. So the first step is to sew the two smaller triangles together, and I'll show you how to do that. So I just put one triangle on top of the other, matching them so that they're laying exactly, you know, uh, all the lines are exactly in line. And I just sew that with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then I'm gonna finger press this open. And what you'll see is we have this little overhang here. I'm gonna trim that with a pair of scissors. And then we have this half triangle unit and I'm gonna match that up to this larger triangle. When I do this, I like to put the larger triangle that was cut out of fabric on the bottom so that I know um, that that is the exact shape this, this unit is supposed to be. And then I take my piece unit and I match it up. Now, if there are any spots that aren't matching, then I know you know my piece unit is not laying correctly or maybe my seam wasn't right or you know whatever the case may be because I know that this bottom unit is exactly the size that I need. So I always put that one on the bottom and then match the pieced one on top of that. And then we're just gonna sew this length here. And this is what the unit looks like. When I finger press that open, again, we have uh, this little overhang, one on each side here to trim. So I just get right next to the block with my scissors and trim these away. And this block is made of four of these units. So I'm going to make three more and then we'll work on assembling the block. all four of the units now made and we can start on assembly so when I'm assembling a pinwheel block I'm always making sure that I'm looking I'm continuous continuously referencing the pattern because it's so easy to just turn one of these units the wrong way and then you won't have the, the pinwheel won't look the way it's supposed to look so for our top row we have one unit like this and one unit turned like that and I'm just gonna put one on top of the other and this big long diagonal here, I'm nesting those seams. They should lay really nice right up, up against each other. And then for the bottom, I'm again looking at the pattern to make sure I have these correct. We have this one pointing that way and we have another one like this. So now I'm going to sew these two together And then I will just open the units up and I will lay one on top of the other and then we're gonna sew this long seam here and again once um, once we're sewing here these large diagonals are nesting with the block underneath it their seams are nesting so that everything is going to lay um, nice and flat here's our block really fun really quick definitely <laughs> um, way different than our first block last week so this is a quick quick fun so to start the week off this is, a rel this is a relatively simple block to press now I have it flipped over to the back side and I'm just gonna work on one little section at a time so the first seam I'm going to press is this the smaller seam here and once that's pressed I'll move on to the larger diagonal and I'm going just, I'm not going on this middle seam allowance at all. I'm just going kind of going right up to it. I'm pressing the, the portions of the block, but not how the block is sewn together yet. And then I'm gonna repeat that on all four of these. 
and I'll just pick the block up and you know turn it so that I'm always working I like you know just I'm right-handed and this is the spot that feels comfortable for me so I just kind of always keep my iron here and just turn it as I go now once I have the small units pressed I'm going to work on the half seams like these two seams that go half the distance of the block and I'll just make sure the seam is laying in the correct position and then I'll set my iron right on top of it I'm still not doing this middle seam so that one looks good I'm gonna flip the block around and do the same thing over here I'm making sure that they're going in the correct um, direction and that as I'm pressing I'm not moving any of these other ones out of the direction that I want them to be So now I have everything pressed just except this middle seam. And for the middle seam, I like to pick the block up and fold it in half, and then first set it this way. And my iron is literally just sitting on top of this seam, making it nice and flat and just like setting the thread into it. And then I gently open it up with my fingers. And now I'm pushing the seam the way I want it to. So I have the seam going left right now. You can see I just like open the block up and I'm just making sure it's still staying there as I press this from the front. Now, a pinwheel block is like a little bit bulky. So this middle, where you have a lot of seams coming together, is slightly bulky. I, you can, if you want, if that bothers you, you can look up how to like, um, you like bend back some of these fabrics and spin it into like a little circle so that that reduces the bulk there. But I like to just leave it how it is. So, and I don't, um, I kind of go right up to it with the iron, but I don't go right on top of this point. The reason I do that is because, um, the fabric kind of gets like, I don't know if there's an actual term for it, but the iron will kind of like dole out the high spots of the fabric, um, if it's sitting on them really long time. So like, I will go right up to this point, but I don't like spend too much time on it because I don't want um, the fabric to look, you know, dulled right at that point of the iron. So that's how I'm gonna leave it. It looks good to me. And here's box 23. So that was a quick one, right? But it's very pretty and I love the pinwheel effect that it gives. If you have any questions on this block, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer. And otherwise, I will see you back here tomorrow for block 24.